गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस ऑडिबल एम आई ऑडिबल सो लेट्स टेक अप दिस एनालिसिस बुल कैट इलेवन वर्बल सेक्शन बट बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर दी वे योर क्वेश्चन यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग आई एफ टी प्लीज गो हेड विद योर क्वेश्चन सो वट्स योर क्वेश्चन दी वे my audible guys i think you are typing taking time so let me check so whatever pattern we are giving in our mock ifts yes uh, it is likely to be same uh, divya in ift i think uh, i have already uploaded my analysis video and you will see in your inbox also so pattern is likely to be same if i talk about the level of difficulty also in our mocks also we have kept level of difficulty approximately close to your real ft and uh, overall cut off uh, generally moves around 43 44 out of 100 marks divya am i able to answer have i answered your question divya okay so uh let's see how many other celebrities we have got divya akshay sujan four students four people are discussing bolcat 11 3 1 divya second akshay fourth sujan and third is sujan and fourth is me so if i talk about bolcat 11 so first your take guys so uh, what you have to say about level of difficulty and what was your score yes divya akshay srijan from my point of view paper was moderate to difficult uh, because paper had uh, easy 11 questions difficult 6 and moderate 17 the guy who scored 99.99 means the first rank so uh, am i visible also guys can you see the video okay now uh, so let's start with analysis the person who got 99 percentile got 69 marks 69 my purpose of picking up this point is that uh, 69 means should be able to get at least 23 questions correct 23 questions correct and we can benchmark our performance against this the person who got 90 percentile scored 37 marks So there's a huge difference between 90 and 99.99 percentile. 37 is equal to 90 percentile, and uh, 99.99 percentile is equal to 69 marks. So a difference of approximately 32 marks. 32 means probably 9 to 10 questions one should get correct in order to touch that 99.99 percentile mark. So so let's move ahead now. Comments. Uh, so akshay uh, are you the same akshay to whom i am allotted mentor okay so the first question is uh, about the passages were quite interesting one or two science based and one or two even summary based questions also based on hardcore sciences so this is about uh, that we have got uh, 99.99% identical we all are identical in terms of uh, dna but when it comes to microbial uh, microbial culture or the bacteria in our guts gut probably the part of our uh, digestive system uh, there would be difference so very interesting passage and says that e- even we can check the types of bacteria in one's gut if we just scan the mouse he uses or anything uh, he touches even so very interesting in terms of and let's say that people generally do not believe will not believe this but in case uh, being uh, in one of the programs csi miami also used this technique so now people have started believing and we framed also one question on this 
let's come back to the question now most of the times you will find uh, this uh, passage being taken from ted talk so uh, my question do you uh, listen ted talk do you watch ted talk divya akshay srijan otherwise very knowledgeable resource it increases knowledge a lot rarely okay and what about akshay and srijan srijan sometimes yes akshay never ending akshay is never ending interminable one who cannot be destroyed so okay it says that webcam has stopped but i think it is working so you can see me now the first question goes like this srijan yes Our video signal reaching? No, video is gone. Okay, that's why I got this signal uh, message uh, pop up that uh, no webcam has stopped. Because from my angle everything is fine. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Just wait for a couple of seconds. Just think about this question number three. It's about critique. I'll come back. So uh, let's start with this question. Uh, what is the implied critique of gene therapy that this article represents? now critique do we know the meaning of the word critique critique means we are writing something in comparison with or let's say we are writing in favor or against or probably we are saying something either to favor something or to go against something that is called critique so we have to compare gene therapy and uh, in this passage as we know that microbial genes versus microbial therapy versus gene therapy is being uh, taken up so we're talking about gene therapy gene therapy means we need to replace we need to take out the defective gene microbial culture means we need to replace with or we need to uh, add new harmless beneficial bacteria so guys your take answer Divya Srijan, Divya is saying three. Ninety-nine point nine percent of genes are same. Ninety percent of microbial cultures are different. So how come this represent a critique, Divya? How come this is a critique? Why not any other choice? Means we are drawing comparison between. We have to draw comparison between gene therapy and obviously microbial culture. Other choices are missing on this. it's uh, for example if i pick a one it is restricted because microbial genes outnumber human genes so in case uh, this is actually wrong but the uh, weak word here is restrictive if it is uh, they outnumber also then it's not going to pose any problem or let's say harm okay so the way that is mentioned in the passage uh, yes it is already there in the passage and uh, because 99.9% of genes are same 90 from this particular uh, critique uh, we can pick up that microbial cultures are different so we can customize the treatment even given to the patient yes this is a critique which he has mentioned it's a comparison rest are not even touching these two points that's why the answer was 3 now i have been asked this question one of the students asked me this order also why not any other order because now uh, we have decided now uh, as cat has decided so we are also giving you the typeable options you have to write your order after you understand the question so again try to frame your order immediately question is as fresh as anything no options so we cannot take help from the options the tricks are useless only it is game of pure understanding now tricks would be of little help so let's try to track the opener opener in this case would be
opener is free yes the quality movement change the japanese industry in a fundamental ways a very general sentence we are talking about the quality the how japanese improved upon this sector in production sector and those changes stuck stuck means remain there they kept on following they still are following think of any webcam it would be sony handycam it would be sony brevia real life examples also so after 3 what will come now in uh, in uh, uh, para jumbles also we teach you one trick that whenever we come across past time sentences present time and future so first past will come then present then future will come so here i think we need to go back to the past because one sentence is talking about the past time how initially they took over from the uh, motorcycle market small car market and then finally to consumer electronics market so after 3 1 will come if one is even taken out of the entire story then also story would be complete but we need to fit in one because one of students asked me that uh, why not any other order he wrote me one order that uh, one sequence sir why this is wrong or why this can't be first of all uh, he asked me this question that why not 5 2 it is actually 25 is a mandatory pair because to is saying they were also taking most of the award for excellence in design and reliability and consumers are also discovering that japanese made products paradoxically offered higher quality lower cost so first of all first two should come and then five should come therefore the correct order would be 25 will form a mandatory pair therefore the order would be 314 25 first two then five so that's how we go i think from a level of difficulty point of view easy to moderate questions So did you get uh, this question correct guys Akshay Divya Now where is solution We have got two Akshays now one Akshay with 329 work share with uh, 676 Okay so So Akshay 676 good evening or akshay 321 is our okay so let's move on to next so basically primarily based on grammar guys so as in every session i tell you that uh, three or four concepts are Im only important first subject word agreement second pronoun reference error third modifier fourth parallelism in this also will come across one of these areas So we are supposed to pick up. We have been asked to pick up the correct sentences. So first of all, let us try to find out the wrong ones. If an organization needs to undergo economical driven change, so change has been modified, or we need to add to something this change. Now driven change, economical driven change. so this is wrong it has to be adverb is required to modify it is it should be divya either economically driven or economic driven change yes the primarily would be driven is is a verb so we need an adverb to modify now driven change therefore economically would be fine rather than economic had it been only change so economic change economic is an adjective otherwise noun also a noun cannot modify economics is a noun economic is an adjective am i clear divya so second error uh, would be in some the sentence the c sentence is wrong what's the problem with c but other types of change types we are talking about the types types plural so it cannot be requires singular we need a plural verb require plural subject plural verb subject verb agreement and then is e trying to change a hierarchical command control actually yes we have typed something like slash
okay so trying to change the hierarchical uh, command and control organization is as swimming when the in place of as in e sentence like will come now why i picked up this sentence the to discuss as versus like now as is used to show the role or the level played by someone or anything like is used to show resemblance you are just like your brother you are just like your mother so is work he worked there as vice chancellor or as officer as is used to show the level or the role played by that uh, person or anything second difference is like is a preposition and after preposition either nouns or pronouns can be used primarily pronouns uh, nouns and as is a conjunction so grammar difference is like is a preposition as is a conjunction now as is used to a conjunction as per the conjunction uh, as per the grammar conjunction is used to join two different words or sentences so as would be used to join two parts so second difference so here in e sentence trying to change the hierarchical command and control organization is similar to what like swimming upstream the same difference the difficulties we face while swimming upstream same uh, things problems will come encounter while doing this so i picked up only because just to discuss this particular point only uh, let's move on to uh, is my voice reaching charan good evening all of you are you listening whatever we are discussing okay now it is about the next question number 7 i picked up it is uh, some we have to summarize this given situation paragraph sum of the entire paragraph it is about theories and conceptual concepts see summary means we need to pick up the main threads only we need to pick up the main points only do not worry about the examples we just need to pick up the th main point that's why this is the same thing that we teach you in our rc classes that how to track the main idea of the entire paragraph in one line if you have to sum up the entire discussion or what exactly was trying to convey we should be able to do that so this is what summary is all about but it is easy for us to discuss this right now you are thinking that sir it is very easy for you to just discuss the my keywords key idea and you few lines you say but while taking exams is very difficult for us students test takers to pick up because generally we frame test setters frame very close options so uh, how uh, what's your accuracy in this summary based questions charan akshay divya so percentage wise is it over 70% then 7 out of 10 absolutely fine akshay because minimum should be 7 minimum should be 7 akshay 65 tick fine bare minimum 65 but minimum should be 70 and uh, because if we go below 65 or 60 will not be able to score overall verbal accuracy should be minimum 65% or 70% if we go below this will not be able to score well in verbal section and overall also as well so it talks about theoretical and conceptual concept of social sciences are especially accessible human intelligence apprehends truth about human affairs with particular facility and discoveries of social science once isolated and labeled are quickly absorbed into conventional wisdom whereupon they lose their distinctive scientific advances now it is being uh, used by each and every one of us and but still uh, they lose distinctiveness and scientific advances game theory is an example only nothing to worry about evaluation research is called upon the most success or failure of the social problem. again simple line models of economics and demography become definitive tools for examining financial base or social security this rush into practical application itself is quite understandable now it's talking about the usage of this particular subject and the policy maker rightly feel even tentative finding untested theories are better guide to decision making than no finding and theories are all is talking about uh, the social sciences how come it is so utilized and not so respected so we need to pick up we need to pick up the emotion we need to pick up the choice which is uh, going along with this particular tone
first is very senty those who are too much into reading definitely would be impressed by this choice that there is an inherent uh, air of paradox inherent in human beings studying themselves so there's no talk about this particular emotion so fourth also seems to be very close social sciences are being overutilized but this practice represents the lesser of two evils under existing circumstances so lesser of two evils uh, nothing of this sort has been mentioned by the passage or the author fourth also gone so look at the second option social sciences are underappreciated by society but overutilized by it especially in the public policy now this is yes akshay to second option charan very good now indian classical music i picked up this passage just for the sake of discussing one or two questions with you uh, one was regarding so that uh, music the song should be short enough to impress or to appeal to north indians and south indians and the second option was given broad appeal kind of so let me check if you are able to recall this passage i picked up this okay yeah so what can be defining characteristics of early hindi film songs so one of the students asked this doubt also broad appeal to the melody flexibility so uh, nothing sort of it it when we compare flexibility has been compared uh, when author was talking about indian classical versus western classical that in western classical certain divisions are allowed but in indian classical system earlier in classical system no division was allowed so it is uh, the influence from defining it is talking about defining that is of early hindi film songs so flexibility uh, akshay flexibility or for the influence from indian classical music even folk and western music also uh, influenced and even folk music earlier in akshay you're not able to recall the passage okay fine passage was about that how come initially uh, the only classical singing was there and somehow when theater and cinema came into existence how come the performers artist in a silent era movies how come artists from outside used to sit along with the uh, screen and try to adjust their musical instruments along with their used to play and uh, so somewhere in between the passage let me take you to the passage so this is but in early days of film there were not many links between urban based cinema and largely rural folk music in these are silent movies when musician played in halls they started learning to adjust that's how adjustment started the duration of the tempo of the ghazal of the harmonium had to suit the film musicians so as to and that itself in highly rebellious act since classically trained in music uh, ustad guru could uh, that nothing could be david from uh, david from the mayfield which had been created performed meant for only elite elite few people now this is the line where i'm moving my cursor this was what bollywood film was trying to do the requirement was of a short song that would appeal as much to the northern as the southern india so this is exactly the answer line now we can easily make out so what can be defining it as the early hindi film songs so the, they needed the length of the song okay now Uh, this is question number 15 from your bullcat 11 and uh, it it's about what's the question let me uh, okay we have to counter the paradox first of all we need to understand the paradox here it says the thesis of norman's book is that those who design things from video etc to other things typically do not design from vantage point of consumers now what is vantage point so yes charan akshay divya we have only four five including me so vantage is uh, from advantage point of view from their point of view or from advantage point of view uh, from vantage point of view of consumers thus they make products that are overly complicated your design is very fine so no no problem with the designing part but it is very complicated when it comes to using that particular and it's confusing at the same time so this is called paradox of technology as we are advancing 
we are making things no doubt but at the same time very complicated also so added functionality generally comes along with the price added price of added complexity so that's why uh, they are sometimes beyond our reach also when it comes to affordability so this is a paradox advancement but no use it should be useful on the other hand now how would you how would one apply to the counter means go against the paradox to an area like search engine for example now we have to support the new technology in this paragraph he has criticized event against new technology we need to pick up the choice where uh, you support we have to support the new technology just pick up read scan the choices if you can see read on your screens so like critical reasoning he's saying the new technology very complicated we need to pick up the any feature in uh, search engine which otherwise helps us sujan has joined again okay sujan great yes third is apps uh, okay park it nothing to worry so then you are from which area which part of india you belong to hyderabad okay so okay uh, yeah third third is right answer because if we are supporting new technology instead of just returning links that contain search word you rank the links based on relevance as judged by the collective of users now this here we are supporting the features included by the google search engine so absolutely correct answer third other either not touching design part or missing uh, the complication part am i clear guys sujan charan akshay divya akshay number 1 akshay number 2 we have got two akshay here akshay 29 akshay 76 So I've been allotted mentor to whom Akshay 29 or Akshay 76 in my mentees list are or you both are there? You have been okay. So Akshay, uh, so how things are going? Is there any tension? D Day is coming, is approaching. Yes, uh, Sujan Charan Devi. So what about is tension mounting? Everything is going fine. So Akshay, it's for sure the, that you have got motivation in your life. Is it so? Do you have any motivation in your life? Okay, now you understand my question. <laughs> okay, so is she local? Behind every successful man, there is one woman. Okay. So guys, the next question is uh, we need to pick up, uh, we need to rearrange the sentences. That's a very easy question. I picked up just for the sake of uh, revising this concept again. Question seventeen. So we just need to pick up. Uh, let's say uh, if you're able to pick up the right opener, half of the battle is won. i think second is an opener good opener second is a good opener when i come to decide to do something new and after two five will come once they have found we are talking about the employees they would correspond to employees these kind of questions charan you find uh, okay see charan uh, no doubt our choices are really helpful but uh, cat has decided this time they'll uh, not give you the choices options but again the concept the tricks uh, would remain the same we need to track an opener concluding sentence mandatory pair things would remain the same but point at the same time tricks can, will be applicable only if you understand the story a little it's very important uh, you just watch my video uh, on our uh, website by the uh, para jumble and i have explained all the tricks so did you see my video 
चरण ये अक्षय विदाउट ऑप्शन टेक्स मोर टाइम बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड हैव कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन आर एबिलिटीज दैट वट एवर आई एम थिंकिंग वट एवर आई हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द क्वेश्चन एंड वट एवर द वे आई एम फ्रेमिंग द सीक्वेंस इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन सो इट चेक्स हर कन्विक्शन ऑल्सो बट नो डाउट Uh, yes, Charan. On the parajambles also, video is there. You will find parajambles under one minute and the complete video also. It's about 20, 20, 25 minutes long. I have explained all the tricks. Okay, Charan. So after two five will come, two five. Now after the single process has been fixed by the people. So two five one, two five one three four. So simple question. now again uh, it's a really difficult question this is really going to help you uh, 10 years down the line all of you guys you don't have to study there what interest couple share in common or how they were raised uh, any of the thousand different ways so you are about to sooner or later you'll be starting your mba you'll be able to complete your mba in year 2016 17 17 18 18 2018 1st august you'll get your first salary check of 7 and a half lakhs 218 you add seven more years 2025 in 2025 one major tragedy will happen in your life and from next time onwards next year onward you will celebrate anniversary also 2026 onwards so first paycheck fat paycheck august 2018 great so now you don't have to study what interest the couple share common how they were raised or any of the thousand different ways they treat each other its passage says that you just need to analyze how they react and their predispositive responsive and the the predispositive predispositive response is a very important keyword here you need to understand the keywords so you just need to look at analyze Uh, how do they react to different situations and uh, how they are predisposed what is their predisposition towards uh, each other so we can predict 90% of accuracy that uh, will or will not be together and happy 5 years later india situation is entirely different so we need to what kind of behavior would you expect from a couple this could have been done even without reading the passage nowadays you people are so expert in this relationship game what kind of behavior do we expect from a couple which is built to last they difficult to imagine built to last are we talking about sony bravia 4k series or couples yes uh, taking care to be sensitive about their partner's view point yes first that's how so i was so confident about your accuracy as far as this question was concerned even without reading the passage Yes, uh, four seems to be very close. They discuss the topic, but stay firm on their uh, point. Now, but stay firm is weak uh, link here. Now, staying firm on your view point is kind of adamancy shown. So this would lead to this will not lead to long term relationship. Generally, in real life, yes, it was easy, very easy. Those who have uh, real life motivations in their real life, so for them. Uh, number is 17. No, not 17. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Question number 19, guys. Question number 19. Now 20th. Again, grammar-based question. We need to pick up the correct ones. Just pick up, revise, try to, because the last legs are going on. This bull cat 11. Next Friday I'll be taking bull mock some 33 or 34, then bull cat 11. After that, we'll we'll be starting with non cat test series, zat, test, etc. Yes, guys, uh, answers. In the first, whether in hospital a software startup or a factory. When we are talking about the options, we use conjunction or. And after this. Uh, B. There is problem with B sentence also. What is the subject here? We are talking about the breakdown, the breakdown of the work processes into project-driven targets. The breakdown leads to now breakdown is singular. It leads to over-optimistic goals, etc. So in B is also 
problem was there and uh, i picked up this question only because of one reason and the sentence is uh, c is also fine the result is that success of project often demands excessively long working hours because we need to modify an adjective long working hours so we need an adverb which can modify because adverbs can be used to modify adjectives even so c is also fine this uh, problem with the uh, sentence d d for delhi is a little out so what's the problem with sentence d just rush through the sentence if you can view on your mobile or wherever you are so do you use your mobiles or uh, you sit in front of your laptop or cameras uh, this uh, sorry desktops akshay laptop abhishek has left the session vinayak has joined the session now we have got eight so uh, d sentence the word criteria okay uh, so criteria just tell me criteria word which you see in uh, sentence number d is singular or plural criteria guys singular or plural just type plural yes it is plural seems to be and it's greek word actually english version no doubt is criterions but it's not so popular in usage or use so that's why criteria criteria r we cannot use criteria uh, yeah criterion is singular and crit is english plural is criterions so criteria r so in place of is r in d sentence so i my idea was just to discuss this particular point now this is very boring and tough paragraph uh, most of the foreign exchange movements are about speculation it is about how come capital markets economy and uh, things are interrelated when it comes to demand supply when it comes to speculation when it's when it comes to things related to commerce trade etc a uh, little uh, based on knowledge of commerce economics and our ability to uh, have level of comfort with these words so i would recommend this passage to be moderate to tough under time pressure very difficult to understand so what you have to say about this rcs if you are able to recall this rc guys yes we have got our vinayak lord ganesha with us right now yes vinayak so here vinayak modi same okay so mr modi so passage was so let's check the questions There's no point in going through the entire passage yes nice decision now let's uh, look at this uh, question i picked up this uh, question passage because of this question only which sentence of this passage best discuss the author's view on relation between globalization and war now in the passage if you just skim through even you'll otherwise also is, otherwise we are not supposed to bring anything from outside i pick up generally few question while taking this analysis just to show you that even a few of the questions can be done without reading the passage otherwise you are not supposed to bring anything from outside so globalization what this has led to uh, it has uh, led to that gap widening of the gap between rich and poor rich are getting richer and poor are getting poorer so handful of people are they have access to all the comforts and majority is suffering from all the problems so this inequality or inequity in the distribution of the resources has led to many problems let's say uh, riots terrorism ekno uh, political instability lack of development etc so pick up the choice where you see something is leading to something very negative definitely will lead to war like situation pick up the choice just go through the choices even without reading the passage let's say you are not able to uh, recall vinayak didn't go through didn't read this attempt this question passage but when i i'll also try uh, let's uh, let, let us uh, you also let's try including you guys pick up your choice second yes the only negative word we see very strong negative word is a deep imbalance of trade and human rights however successful cannot help to uh, help but second uh, negative word provoke and the ultimate keyword is disorder 
help but provoke unexpected forms now unexpected means uh, whenever we design any policy economic policy or any movement let it be of global uh, scale we generally do not assume or generally do not think of this particular outcome but somehow yes when i provoke disorder absolutely fine so it's not necessary that um, even uh, that we have to read the passage every time something sometimes will come across the subject about which we know too much already so probably we can take chance or two very interesting passage it is about from we have to summarize this discussion uh, this passage and uh, the keywords were misconception throughout the passage is talking about that we think that nuclear fusion is free of radioactivity but it is not then it talks about other common misconception again related to nuclear fusion fusion sorry and it talks about that we should use only conventional sources of energy right now we are utilizing let it be hydro or coal or thermal power even for immediate future we must continue to use hydroelectric nuclear fusion and fossil fuel to meet our, meet our energy needs and uh, they are already in major use for good reasons so actually is going against fusion uh, exploring some misconceptions and is supporting whatever we are using right now so let's uh, go through the choices and try to pick up the summary of this passage yes guys take your time the total has single stroke question only single stroke question we should be damn sh sure about the harmful effects of nuclear fusion fusion as per the question also and he's saying that without thinking without weighing pros and cons of this particular source of energy we should not use it third absolutely fine you all are born genius nobody can stop you and nothing can stop you being successful last few minutes it talks about this last passage was i think about uh, bell company bell labs bell phones created by alexander graham bell and how come this company initially started this telephone industry and uh, had a monopoly and they were very aggressive initially and they fought with each and every one in order to uh, sustain uh, the position and somehow it says that uh, when new ceo what we call ceo this uh, took over theodore whale and uh, that's how they started changing the company started changing its way of working and somehow the very very aggressive litigious company change into something very very smart and uh, logical decision makers etc so let's see the question now even uh, 28th could also could also have been done without reading the passage because we just need to look at the sentence and we pick up but subject to the condition that i should know personification oxymoron metaphor and euphemism so are we clear about all these four guys yes guys okay euphemism so disregard for ethical boundaries simply saying somebody unethical and i say that you have got a disregard for ethical boundaries is a positive way of very refined way of saying something or swear criticism so disregard yes it is euphemism you say something negative using positive words lines it's called euphemism oxymoron two opposite things existing simultaneously oxymoron the very practical oxymoron is happily married i am married and she is happy so let's move on to next question i think last few questions
what can be inferred about the reason behind litigious background of early AT&T so first company which built uh, computers also Bell Labs so we need to uh, behind the company why company adopted such a aggressive behavior or way of doing the things because uh, as per the story in the passage also one of a few lines uh, phone technology was invented by the tech entire and uh, Graham patented all this all these so-called procedures initially and uh, primarily this was not digested by other competitors or people and they fought tooth and nail and uh, Bell also decided to fought to fight that's why yes uh, it's the way it's not one the overtly aggressive overtly means openly aggressive management which was careless about the needs of the customer and the value of the competitors no they were uh, they were aware of the value of the competitors that's why they went into so he did everything to keep away the patent challenges and competitors third it's clearly actually is a direct question and uh, few facts are there to support this because inference just uh, recap inference is something that can be drawn on the basis of a given fact and a uh, few facts are there to support this particular third line but there's no point uh, fact in the passage to support option number one that's why third okay you got it wrong so which option did you pick Akshay one 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 okay it seemed to be very uh, but whenever you come across, whenever, see, uh, we have used few words just to uh, make you sentimental. Uh, test takers, overtly aggressive management. Uh, whenever we are answering inference based question, let's say if I'm impressed by one of the choices, I'm uh, confused between two close options and one seems to be absolutely fine, then refer, go back to the passenger to check that is there any line or are there any lines to support this inference if it is the lines are there then the right answer without the support from the passage no inference can be taken as technically correct am i clear Srijan Akshay do not rely only on your memory go back to the passage check if there is any line to support this conclusion if there is uh, no line to support we have to reject the choice I think last question now summary of the paragraph it's again science based very boring questions science based researchers are finding that in many ways individual bacterium is more analogous to the component cell of the multicellular organism he has drawn comparison between I think Anna Biana communities and the same uh, probably bacteria uh, with only single specialized structure a uh, single structure provision available can fix the nitrogen also can uh, be the uh, can take part in future uh, photosynthesis also can produce oxygen with the help of photosynthesis the same cell structure so i think let's sum up the discussion so he has explained that how come uh, one particular procedure is there capability of this is uh, has been discussed so we have to summarize this Yes, Vinayak uh, Anabana lives in a community with different cells performing different roles but sharing and sharing uh, cellular products also. The same set of same cell can perform two different things. As per science, these two are altogether diametrically opposite things. One, you are producing oxygen. Second, you are fixing nitrogen. We need different components, chemicals, but performed by the same. So fourth was the right. So Vinayak, what happened? You also? When I you took four minutes, but you got this right. So nothing to worry about. As uh, we cannot leave the section till the allotted time is over. So, but no doubt, uh, four minutes. A little too long, but nothing to worry about. All is well that ends well. And uh, the time has come to wind up this session, guys. Okay. So Vinayak, Abhilash, Srijan, Charan, Akshay, Divya, see you next time around and all the best. Just chillax, be happy, stay focused, stay calm and uh, see you next time around. 
Any query, any doubt? So you have got our mail IDs and you have got uh, bullseye's ID also. In case of any problem, but I would recommend that do not worry too much about the concept revision, etc. Just chillax and keep on doing the mocks only. Practice mocks and that too, nothing to worry about. It's in your destiny that you'll be successful. No, you should not worry at all. Charan, should not worry at all. Be happy. Just chillax, follow your normal bio routine, bio rhythm. The time you wake up, the time you go to sleep, whatever you eat. But drink should be in moderation. Because youngsters nowadays, they love Coca-Cola after on the bottle of which it is written 5000 Coca-Cola, 5000 Pepsi, 5000. So we need to limit on these. How many mocks in seven days? Not more than three to four. Not more than three to four. Last, uh, just uh, before 29th, let's say 27, 26, 27, 28. Just uh, enjoy and uh, be calm and quiet. Just focus. Try to consolidate your strength. Try to focus your mind. Try to channelize your energies. That's it. No revision, no mathematics, no DI, no GK, no vocabulary, no discussion or anything. Especially 27, 28. Just relax, follow your bio rhythm. So guys, see you next time around. Any other question? Okay, so all the best. See you next time. Bye.